who here wants a magic trick? Me! All right, now you know magic is not real, but it is fun and it is a fun way to remember important truths. So I want to share a magic trick with you that will help you to remember something really, really, really important. Now, what I think one of the most important Bible verses in the whole Bible, I mean, there's a lot of important Bible verses in the Bible. My favorite is Psalm 37, 37. It says, Mark the perfect man. That's right, I'm Mark. And it says, Mark the perfect man. So look, the Bible says I'm perfect. Are you going to argue with the Bible? You go ahead and do it. But another scripture that's really good is this one right here. Can you guys read what it is? It's Genesis 1-1. Who knows Genesis 1-1 by heart? All right, let's hear it. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. I love to hear you guys say scripture. That's right. And what's important about this one is if this is true, and it is, then any of the other things in the Bible are true. People say, you don't really believe in the Bible because, like, Jonah was swallowed by a big fish. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, it is kind of crazy. We don't see that every day. It's not every day that people get swallowed by a big fish. That's called a miracle. But if God created the heavens and the earth then he makes the rules of physics and science and all that stuff. And if he wants a big fish to swallow a human being, he can do that. If he wants a, a Balaam's donkey to talk to him, he can do that. If he wants to raise people from the dead, he can do that. Because God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1-1 is a really important verse. So let's figure out what he did. All right. God was very busy on day number one. He had darkness. And he separated it from the light. And he just spoke it. Let there be light. He didn't have to go to Walmart to buy to buy light bulbs. He didn't have to go to Home Depot to buy home switches. You know, light switches to turn on and off. He didn't have to say, hey, Alexa, turn on the lights. Or shut off the light. He just said it. That's powerful. None of you can do that. No, we can't do that. But God can because God's amazing. Day number one, separated the light from the darkness. Day number two, God's not done. He took water and he put it up above. And he took water and he put it down below. And he put in between that, he put air. And air is that stuff that we breathe in. And we breathe out. And our bad breath comes out, right? But you and I can't do that. We can't make water appear from nothing. Well, we kind of can, but that's why you should always go to the bathroom before you go to bed. <laughs> but even then, you need water in order to do it. You needed to get it from a, from a cup, and you needed, God just spoke it. And he saw that it was good. Day number two. Wow, how cool is God? Day number three, God made all the dirt and stuff appear in a big ball, and he made water appear, and all the rivers and streams and oceans and all kinds of stuff, and he made brown stuff appear, and he made green stuff appear, not boogers. The green stuff is leaves and trees and grass and bushes and all that stuff. That was all day number three. He didn't have to go to a store to buy seeds. He didn't have to do any of that stuff. He just said it, and it did. How awesome is that? Day number three. Yeah, some of you guys are homeschooled, I can tell. I can count to four. Day number three. All right, we'll, we'll work on the counting. It's, I know, once you get past two, it gets kind of challenging. I get it. It's all right. Day number four. He put a big thing of fire in the sky. We call it the sun. And it's just in the perfect spot that if it were any further away, we would freeze to death. If it were any closer, we would fry to death. It's in the perfect spot to ripen our tomatoes that came on day three. And God put stars just like the sun all over the universe. He made the stars and spread out the heavens. He even put a big rock in the sky that we call the moon. We used to think it was made out of cheese. But then we sent people up there on a rocket, and they realized, well, it's not cheese. It's hard. It's, it's a hard rock. And kids, that's what happens when you leave cheese out too long. It turns into a hard rock. Ha, 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 Hey, you get what you pay for for the jokes. All right, day number four. Then on day number five, God made things that swim in those oceans and lakes and streams. And what are those things called? Animals. Fishes, right? Fishes, fishes, fishes. They swim. And God made all the things that fly, like he made birds and pterodactyls, and he made insects and mosquitoes. But the mosquitoes didn't bite you because there was no shedding of blood back then. How cool is that? Mosquitoes can land on you, and you go, oh, they're cute and they wouldn't bite you. That doesn't happen in New England, does it? Uh, mosquitoes are nasty. 
This was day number five. And then, finally on day number six, he made all the animals that, that, that creep on the ground. And then he decided, I need more creeps. So he made man. Because man, especially when they're aged like 13 to 17, are really creeps. And so that's why they're called creeping things, because they're, they're creeps. Teenage boys are the worst, aren't they? Yeah! That's right. And then he made women, because boys don't know how to dress themselves, and they don't know how, you know, they wear stripes, and they wear spots, and they put it together, and they needed someone to say, you can't dress like that, that's horrible. And so, look, I know you guys are young, but one day you'll get married, and you'll be, I remember what that preacher at camp said about telling the husband not to wear that. It's true, okay? And God, but not only did God do all those things, because that, that's pretty cool. Wait. But he, he then, he did all those things again from nothing. He didn't have to buy ingredients, he didn't have to do anything, but he took all those individual days, and from that, made one thing really beautiful. He made creation that is really gorgeous. If you want to see something gorgeous, look at creation and say, wow, God! Everybody, wow, God! Wow. That's right, because he took he did all those things on six different days, and he made one beautiful creation. Look, if you think that's powerful, the one who made it is even more powerful. And he this will blow your mind. Not only did God make that beautiful creation, but those little specks that he calls humans, because what are we really? We're just made out of dust, and God remembers that. He actually cares about us, he loves us, and he wants to have a relationship with us. Wow, that is so awesome. God, the, the one who did all this, he wants to have a relationship with us? Yeah, he does. <laughs> And if you guys are all awake, if that, 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 that three pounds of meat in between your ears is working even a little bit, you're going to say, Pastor Mark, i got to know, i got to know, i got to know how can I have a relationship with God? It is so exciting. I can't wait to tell you how to do it. I'm going to do it. How are you going to do it? There you go. In the next couple of days. So keep paying attention and don't die at camp. Okay? Uncle Josiah tried it last night. Thankfully, he's still with us. Because I want you to hear the rest of the story, and you pay attention to my messages, and you will find out how you can have a personal relationship with the one who did all of this. Guys, thank you so much for paying attention. Hey everybody, this is Mark. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please click like and subscribe to the channel. Please visit our website, loop-15.org. We have tons of free resources. Everything's free to help you to become a better more effective ambassador for Jesus Christ. There's also information at loop-15.org about what my family and I do as missionaries here in New England and really everywhere through the internet. Please share these resources with other people you know through social media and may God bless you as you take the gospel of Jesus Christ to the lost. We love Jesus. How can we not share them with others? Have a great day.